and welcome back everybody. We are here again as Prince Mayor Sandy II of the Isles, the patrician of Manor on the Isle of Man, or the Isle of Manor, I guess, of House Manor. Um, Inns Manor. Insi Manu. Okay. Anyway, I'll stop trying to pronounce Welsh things and start actually playing the game. Um, I can't entirely remember where we were. That should be a fairly common occurrence for you to hear. But what I do know is... Ooh, what I do know is we're not very well off. However, we do have land in Wales. Which is good. And we should probably be trying to claim some more of it. Uh, if our king is happy enough. Our king is not very happy. Tribal view on strong. Oh, that's nice. I'm strong, aren't I? Good stuff. Hopefully my heir is also strong. He's not, of course he's not. So, yes, we've got to... Oh, we're waiting to build trading posts. That's what we're doing. Let's unpause while I natter and figure out what's going on. We're waiting to build trading posts on places that have cities, which means we're waiting to trade up to... Uh... No, we can't increase trade practices, which means really we're just waiting to... We're building, we've built those, we're just building up money at the moment, aren't we? Uh, so we need a city guild hall. Our port is complete, we need a city guild hall and then we want to start building our mansion. Or do we want to start building our mansion first? We've got a fortified vault, and needs a great mansion too. So really we want to be improving our mansion. Forgive me if you've heard all of this before. <coughs> Meanwhile, let's see if there are any other relevant trading posts that we could use to our advantage. Bringing more things into the Republic, regardless of what they're doing, will help us, especially if they're in Wales. So Devon, for example. This guy has one ally, the Chief of Connacht. Go study technology over here. Now, where was I? This guy has one ally, the Chief of Connacht, is probably fairly weak himself, he's 1300, 1400 maximum. Um, let's gain some piety. We are 1600 maximum, plus all those um, bits that we can afford. Can't afford a retinue yet, although if we upgrade our mansion we might be able to. One of these... Retinue size plus 200%. Might be worth it. We can get longbows like that. Um, right. This is the Great Ball. This happens quite frequently, so if you haven't seen it, uh, pause the video and read it now, because I'm quite bored of it. But we're going to a ball, despite the fact that we haven't been in invited. Let's... And uh, he's kicked me out, and he's now my rival. I lose prestige, he gains prestige. But now we have a rival. Anyway, this guy, we can probably beat him in a war to claim his city. Especially if we hire some mercenaries, which we could afford. She wants to get married. My niece. Let's marry her to the Prince of Asturias. There we are. I'll find you someone nice. Nice. Nice, nice. So when we have, say, a hundred and something gold, we should be able to just afford mercenary upkeep constantly. So that will definitely help us in a war against Devon. Oh my goodness. Vikings. I think. Probably. Oh well, luckily my liege is on the case. We've got some money. We'll wait till when we're about 200 we'll go in and do it. Um, and we should be okay. It'd be even nicer if we can get that retinue up before then. I'm not sure 200% will do it. We're getting plus 300% from technology so 200% will only give us another 60 which will take us up to 180. Not great. But still it's worth getting out there now. Now is the time. 
Oh, especially since he's gone and died, giving him far less troops. We might not even need the mercenaries. We're going to take your city, sir. And we're going to very briefly get rid of our houseboats because boats cost way too much upkeep. I'm going to very briefly raise those le fleets so that they can just get over to Diffid quickly. Excellent, because like I say, boats cost way too much. And then we're going to march on down to Devon. <coughs> Should be okay to win this war fairly easily. Uh, looks like Canuck has joined in. We're going to lose the party, can't afford it right now. Okay, and we just siege, I guess. Once we've got the city, we'll possibly go and attack his army. In fact, no, let's attack his army now, while we're still at full strength. Even more money. How about that? It's nice to just be given money on the random. There we are. Oh, wow. Just decimated his army. I say decimated, annihilated his army. Which is even better than decimation. So let's, whoops, let's send half these people to go and siege Cornwall as well, so he doesn't do anything silly. Um, Canucked, I'm not that bothered about. We won't need the money for anything else, so let's see about, uh, oh, we'll save it up to upgrade our mansion again once the military warehouse is done. That seems like the wisest plan for now. So this city won't be ours when we capture it, it'll belong to House Penlin, or Penthin. I guess. Um, Penthlin, I think, is the closest I can get to actual Welsh. Um, anyway, he's not our family, but it will still bring it in to the... Uh, under our control, which means that we can go and take the whole holding later. Which is fine. Taking land for our vassals is a good way to expand, I think. Oh, these aren't Vikings. These are just... Uh, Enemy troops. We've had a son. Excellent. How many people are oh, the cities right at the end? So sieging that is going to be a pain. Yep. Once these guys have sieged Cornwall, they're going to have to go back to Devon to help finish sieging this county. Frustratingly, because he's going to get ticking war score. As long as um, as long as I don't control the city, it's not to do with the. Um, this seems bugged. No, that seems right. Actually, I don't know what the question mark is about. It seems to have a minimum of two all the time, which is nice. It used to not be a minimum, and uh, yeah, what would happen is Merchant Republics very early in the game couldn't do anything. And to be fair, there weren't many merchant republics that early in the game, but it was still annoying. Whoa, our retinue size is way bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, it doesn't give us plus 200%, it gives us plus 200. Whoa, that surely can't be right. Surely. Wow. Okay. Um, build the great mansion, and let's get some retinues. Yes, please, longbows. Best retinues in the game, we can get three of them. Once we've got 35 gold, we'll create our third one. That's stupidly good. We're just going to kill everyone. Ugh. Okay, enemies declared war on us. The Duke of the Isles, since I technically uh, own... Uh, since he has... Um, since he's the de Yer ruler of the Isles, he's getting pissy at me about the fact that I own what should be rightfully his, which is frustrating. Um, we... Okay, that's fine. We might be able to beat him anyway. He's going to have about a thousand guys. We're going to, we uh, have more than that. It'd be nice if we could peace out of this war but he's going to be a pain about it and not let us. 
I think we'll be okay to be honest. Um, what I'll quickly do though is get my last retinue up and get them to safety. Split in half. Get rid of these guys. Because that's an extra 750 men, um, which is particularly useful. Disband them, and you guys stay there for now, actually. Once we've got the city, we can move off and go and defend our territory, if we don't, in fact, win entirely. Okay, we now own this city. Can't get any troops from it. If I do that though, we get just a couple more troops. Uh, we don't have any allies to call to war. Nope. So everyone get up to there. Uh, he does have a lot more troops than me right now. As our levy replenishes, that might not be an issue. Could really do with being able to borrow some money though. He controls a lot more land than I thought he did. Who is this guy? This is... See, I was checking him out just before the beginning of the game. And I thought, he's not a threat. He won't be able to do anything. I think what's happened is... He's got an ally in here? In Sea Hillith. Is that this? No. He's just got more troops than I realised, apparently. Oh, maybe it's because he's tribal, he's calling tribal people to war. Unfortunate, just lost a lot of gold there. And apparently a steward as well. Oh no, he's in Sihilith. It's the bishop who has come in with him. Let's see if we can't beat him. Oh, this might be very painful. He's got defensive bonus and hills and uncrossing, but I've won. And we've captured a bishop. Who will ransom for 25 gold. And we'll follow him across the strait to try and finish off this army as best as possible. Then we'll go home and siege our county back. There we are. Now, I guess we'll pretty much just have to stand here and wait. Um, our retinues will replenish. I just want to see how big they are at the moment. These are the retinues. They're 143, they max out at 750, so they're going to just get bigger and bigger and bigger while we wait for him. Um, he might actually be coming for us right now anyway. No, he's going to stand there and siege the trade post. Well, I'm not too fussed, because as long as I control the actual territory, it doesn't really matter. And it is, yeah, the isle. You need a guardian? Don't really care. And we've got a new court chaplain. So yeah, as long as we control our city, well, we'll still be making money from controlling our city, which is nice. And also, we'll get the ticking war score, which uh, will allow us to win, basically. Uh, he's going to be clever and go around there. Okay. Well, whatever. Our army is replenishing, his isn't. His army is only going to get smaller as he sieges. We are ridiculous. But yeah, turning into a uh, into a republic this early is a difficult situation, it turns out. Is that, that's more hills, isn't it? I guess we'll wait till our retinues are fully replenished and then we'll deal with them. Like I say, we're getting ticking war score. We can wait. This is going to continue being an issue as long as the Duke still exists, which is the most annoying part. 
Ah, uh, now he's got some... Oh no, he doesn't have peasants. That's a shame. Now he's got peasants. Fratichelli's. Uh, but our liege is dealing with them. However, it caused him to drop his siege. Uh, not for long enough. Um, if we force him to surrender, we'll get 80 gold, which isn't a huge amount. Whereas if we just <coughs> get a white piece, we're not that fast. Right, how are we doing? 400 troops. Uh, my wife, my wife, Istradwell, Istradwell, has grown old and less than attractive. Maybe a young mistress. I'm sure my wife will allow me to indulge myself. Um, she responded to my advances, and soon we were engaging in a very stimulating activity. In short, the lovemaking was amazing. I think I'm in love. Oh, she's married. Uh, but my wife is angry. She's also mnemonic and stressed, so I don't think I have to worry yet. <laughs> she might have got stressed. I feel now like we probably killed our wife there. Which would be unfortunate. Is there anybody within the realm who we could marry? That would be really useful. Um, doesn't look likely. We could marry our niece. Or we could engage her. Well, in that case... Let's just... Let's marry this woman who we're supposedly in love with. Oh, we can't. Because she's already married. Well, let's marry the most stewardess person. There we are. Bride pi price of three gold. Fratichelli's everywhere. Uh, let's take the money. And let's march round to relieve this siege. Ah. Let's go home then. Um, it's hard being friends with someone more ambitious than yourself. And lately, Andragoto has been pushing me to exert my talents beyond my limits. It is for my own good. There's a chance there of becoming ambitious. There we are, he's dropped his siege. Oh, and we're going to be made steward. Let's do it. And let's try and improve learning. Okay, we should be able to win this battle. The power of our amazing longbow retinues. Um, alongside everything else. Yeah, he's running away. He knows that we can win the battles. That's mountains there, so I don't want to catch him. 21st July, 21st July. We'll leave it one day. Whoops. And then we'll chase him onto Penguin, which is plains. He's going to come around here. However, this is all plains around here. Yeah, there we are. Got him. Captured another bishop. More money. You're not feeling so good about the war now, are you? Let's just gain the 50 prestige and go home. And we've got Fratichelli rebels at home now. Well, isn't that good? Our liege should be coming to deal with them. Let's go and give him a helping hand, I think. I don't want Fratichellis to siege down my holdings. Or anything for that matter. Yep, here he comes. Um, okay, no, he should be able to handle this now. Retinues, come home. And so, from what I can tell, once we've built this, we'll probably be able to build another military warehouse and become even more ridiculous with our retinues. I think this might be broken, you know. I shall report it. Um, but not before I've gained the full advantage of it. 
Oh no, we need a better great mansion, which means more money. So until we can get that, let's go for a boa. Uh, we're not going to keep hold of the Republic after I die, so I don't really want to spend too much on it right now. And we don't have any actual cities for ourselves. We do have these, however, which is fine. My daughter can get married to the High Chief of Fort Ryu, so let's do that. Excellent. Um, yeah, we will still own these castles, so I might improve those a bit once we've lost control of the city. Oh, betrothed can marry. Let's get that alliance up. Um, oh, oh yes, because we're the steward we can go and help our liege out when he goes over his limit. Um, you think you'd be a better marshal? You probably would, and you're my dynasty, so that means favouritism. That's how it works in a republic. Right, we also should be fabricating claims, I feel. Such as a claim on Gwent. Um, oh. I placed my marshal in the wrong place. He should be training troops here. Let's get a castle town. Much knowledge has been lost since the glory days of the Roman Empire, but some of their engineering knowledge has been preserved in dusty old tomes for poster posterity. Posterity. You have spent several days studying a few of these, and your learning has improved. <laughs> Gain one learning. Okay. I managed to blame monks at the nearby monastery for one of the more sensuous songs of courtly love. We could confess and pray and lose lustful. Or we could lie to my confessor and potentially become deceitful. Um, let's lie. I like being lustful in a republic um, because you want because you want all those male dynasty members all the time. You pretty much want as many children as possible. Scottish holy war. Oh yes, these guys have gone proper fratricelli and they've become a theocracy as well. Cool. Tell us more about Hindustan while you're at it. Uh, that is very kind. I'll take your guy. And there's also a peasant revolt here, <laughs> which we've handily dealt with. Okay. Crazy Fraticelli's. Crazy Fraticelli's. Look at this guy. Look how happy he is. That is the happiest guy I've ever seen in Crusader Kings. He is, like, so happy. End your plot. No. You're trying to kill Patrician somebody of somewhere. Okay, you do it. One day, passing by a monastery, you come across a monk sitting and painting a field. You observe his work and marvel at the composition, the colours and the fine brush strokes that bring the simple canvas to life. The monk is truly an artistic prodigy. I'll buy this painting and exhibit it at my castle. Ten gold, thirty prestige. Excellent. We could start a faction. Mm. No. Although we could put a bishop on the throne, that would be hilarious. Become a theocracy. Ooh. No. Let's not. Let's instead go on a pilgrimage before I die. Getting close to the end of my life, I feel it's time to repent. Apart from all those things I don't want to repent for. Those can just, you know. Let's just forget about those, shall we? My journey begins. Uh, my spymaster has become my regent. That probably should have designated a regent first. The rain has been pouring for days. Um, let's persevere. Did we become ill or mnemonic? We didn't. And my faith will see me through. Ugh. Wow. It really wants to kill me. <laughs> um... Not having Jews in the realm has hurt our culture technology, that's fine. Um, as long as it doesn't hurt our trading technology. We've become zealous. We persevered under trial. We were successful. Proved to us that God exists and he is on our side. Well, 
five gold in monthly expenses, and those monthly expenses are pretty much just family dues oh, and to our liege and retinue upkeep. We've got a claim though on the clown count. <laughs> Let's use it anyway. Right, as long as we can survive long enough to get back to normal amounts of money, we should be able to go and take this guy out. Yeah, easily. So we just need to survive for half a year. I reckon. Let's get these guys down to Diffid in preparation. Since most of our troops come from Wales. And then we'll have... Are we... I keep forgetting. We are actually... We're not de Year Welsh. We're de Year Scotland. Or de Year Pictland. Interesting. I thought I was... <coughs> I thought I was de Year Welsh. I'm not de Year Welsh. I'm just culturally Welsh. Interesting. I've been labouring under a misapprehension. Oh well, still... We're going to uh, do our best to create Wales and become the King of Wales. And then see if we can... I don't think this will drift into it because we'll need to control the entire duchy. Yeah, you can't do your drift a county. Frustratingly. Oh well, whatever. Whatever. I'm alive. I'm no longer ill. Excellent. I'm 53, sprightly and ready for action. Built a boa, give us even more. Um, oh, let's get him married to a strong. Um, not a Muslim. Oh, the Catholics have held out over here. Well, that's interesting. I just assumed they'd have died by now. Right, come on, where's our money? Where's my money? There we are, okay. Declare war, claim Glamorgan. Raise troops. You guys can march round, we won't need you that soon. And you guys march straight on Glamorgan. Should be an easy war. 18% already. Oh, and I died. However, because I pressed the claim, the uh, war continues. Maybe not. Oh, the war continues. My liege is now... Sure, my liege is now actually doing the war. But that's fine. It's... It should be my claim. No, oh, the war's over. I should have got the claim because I pressed it in a war. That's uh, normally the case. So who got the claim? That's weird. When you have a claim like that that you fabricated, normally, you can uh, normally as lo it only disappears if you don't press it in a war. Which means because we pressed a claim, we we pressed it. We were in the middle of it. We uh, should have. We should have got it. Also, one of our trade posts is gone. Where's Mortain? Oh, that's the wrong house. Sorry. Menor. In fact, we can build an extra trade post. Let's do that. Let's build a trade post here. So we can claim this city. Oh well. We still have plenty of troops because we have two castles. Um, normal city taxes, sounds good. Um, and the Grand Mayor has gone into hiding. It won't save him. Well, he's not going to be a well-liked Grand Mayor anyway. Wants to make me Marshal. Don't mind if I do. Speaking of which, I should sort out my own people. You should be training troops in Difford. You should be collecting taxes. 
No, no, collect taxes in Manor. Because that's where our um, that's where our house is based, and that's also we have a trading post here, which gets more money if we collect taxes there. So collecting taxes there is still a good idea. You can scheme. You can improve religious relations with the Pope. Does the Pope want to give me money? No, I have free investiture. I don't even have any investiture laws, but apparently free investiture. Ah oh well. Okay, so as soon as we built this trading post, we can go to war with this guy. He's allied with quite a few people though. Hmm. I should have ended the video a couple of minutes ago and I didn't. Excuse me. I'm just going to end it here and I'll start again in one second.